and welcome to another video. I've just completed a Victoria Beckham lid luster review, hence why I've got two different colours on my eyes. I was so incredibly impressed with these pigments and lid lusters, so please go check out this video, I will link it down below. My face is particularly shiny, I know. It's because I wanted to review the new Trio Illume palette today. Hourglass had previously launched this palette and it was so in demand they decided to bring it back. So this is technically a new launch but not a new product. So it includes three shades of bronzer, blush and highlight. It is a creamy formula. So I've deliberately kept my base creamy. I haven't powdered my face hence why it's so shiny and you can see me to the moon and back. So I'm excited to get stuck into this and see how it performs. So I'm going to dip into the bronzer first. Now in the title it does mention the word sheer so I'm assuming it's not supposed to be like super pigmented but we shall see. To be honest I don't mind something that's sheer that is buildable. And creamy products are normally like easier to work in so so far it's blending really beautifully let me do my double chin so you can see that that has really nicely given me a definition on this side of the vase versus the side that has nothing and it looks super natural so let's go in with the other side So that's both sides of my face done with the bronzer it's obviously going to look glowy because it's a creamy product but that's not a bad thing because in the winter you really need every help with hydration so creamy products are a plus really in the drier months I'm then going to go in with a clean brush and attack the blush this blush looks like a peachy color I will do swatches by the way for you as well but it just looks like the kind of peach that was quite universally flattering so just going to smile and again you can just add more color if you just want to intensify it so it's nicely buildable it's not as sheer as I thought it would be it's still quite good pigment to it but it's not sometimes you you apply a little bit and you have to blend it out for 10 years but this isn't the case with this product so it's so so pretty and it just makes skin look super healthy last but not least I'm going to use the highlight I'm going to go in with the same brush um, I'm just going to just wipe off the excess onto like a kitchen towel to be honest my face is already really glowy but <laughs> you can do this step after powdering by the way I probably will add more after powdering I just wanted to give you an initial glow report so it's really pretty so so pretty and it's slightly goldeny, which is really nice as it complements any skin tone with pink or yellow undertones. Now let me quickly just go off camera, apply some powder and I'll be back. So I've just slightly mattified my face, primarily around the T-zone, around the nose, around the mouth and chin area uh, to make myself look less like a glitter ball. Now I'll go back in with the highlight and just reapply on top to give glow where I want it to go. A little bit on the forehead, down the center of my nose, and then I'll go in with my finger and just slightly tap on my cupid's bow. So, final thoughts on this palette it's so blendable, it's super creamy, but at the same time, it's buildable. So you can add more depending on if you want more pigment, if you want more of a pop of colour, you can make it from something like very subtle look to a lot more defined and punchy if you wanted to. What I also noticed and like about it is that they've given the same amount of blush and bronzer but the highlight is the least which isn't a bad thing because you're more likely to use the blush and bronzer than the highlight. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong but the original um, Illum palette I think it was like the same size, so it was the same um, amount of bronzer, blush and highlight. Perhaps people fed back and they listened to the feedback and this is like the new and improved version. 
I really like creamy formulas just because like I said they're super hydrating it's ideal really for autumn winter time and it just looks a lot more fresh your skin just looks a lot more healthy it's more glowy so I'm really impressed with this formula as well as the color choices it's so hard to get a trio palette right where you have one palette for all the women in this world that's quite unrealistic being honest for someone who is more on the deeper darker skin tone this palette's not going to meet their needs as much as someone who is very pale to olive skin tone and that's just me being real i think it's impossible to really find a palette that is universal for everybody but even so the color choices that they have made as a brand it's probably the most flattering shades that they could have chosen for the majority of women i just wish that perhaps they had brought out a second palette alongside it where this would be sort of like it's cliche but light to medium and then medium to dark for example because it's not really universal i love the peach that they've chosen it's it would suit majority of skin tones the bronzer i love because it gives enough warmth without being orange which i absolutely hate um, and there's still a little bit of coolness that it gives perfect definition and the highlight like i said earlier it has golden undertones so someone who has yellow and pink undertones it would complement whereas if they had chosen a cooler or like a silvery highlight that wouldn't suit a golden or yellow undertone like myself so very very impressed with the shades let me just quickly swatch it for you so these are the swatches obviously the bronzer then the blush in the center and then the highlight what I find with Hourglass is that they don't necessarily swatch very well, but on the skin, it translates so beautifully. This is obviously the final look. At the end of the video, I will do a close-up shot as well. As you know, I like to do so that you can really see it in daylight. This is daylight, but I really want you to see the finished look and the finished um, product. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that review. Please feel free to pop any questions down below. I always love to read the comments. It makes me so, so happy. And I always appreciate anyone who takes the time out and makes an effort to write to me. It makes me feel very loved. So thank you so much to everyone who watched this video. Until next time. Every single day just tastes the same. Wake up, feel that emptiness of face. Wash away the pain and put some makeup on my face. Butterflies in my stomach, butterflies in my chest. I